to the character customization. Of course, the first thing that comes to mind when we mention that is the character creation system or when you want to change the skin of your main character or any other characters in your game. But let's talk about my experience when I created a vocabulary game and what difficulties I faced and how to avoid wasting a lot of time. Avocado was my first video game, so I have no idea how to start the animation, so I chose the frame-by-frame -frame animation method, and I created the character using the uh, Adobe Illustrator, then I animated it frame-by-frame -frame using Adobe After Effects. That was nice, and I created my first animation, and it was awesome. But then, during the development of my game, I needed to add emotions to my character, so I wanted him to walk sad or sometimes happy or sometimes angry so to do that i forced to redo all the animations using all different expressions so you have to walk smiling jump smiling run smiling idle smiling then you redo everything while sad then redo everything while angry then to make things more complicated I needed to add some weapons to my hero. So then I recreated all the animations without hands because the hands will be replaced by the weapons. And so imagine what mess and how dozens of hours or days has been wasted just to do this in an inefficient way. But things changed radically since 2019 till today and the new technologies has been developed. One of those technologies is this skeletal animation which is provided by Unity. In this technology you can draw your character and place each one on a layer, then link each layer to specific bones and by this method you move the bones regardless the sprite which is linked to it. We will not go deep in the skeletal animation and rigging because our today's video will talk about changing the skin and I already covered full lessons regarding drawing, rigging and skeletal animation. I'll provide you a link for such videos or the previous videos down in the description. So in today's video we'll show you how to fully change your character skin in Unity 2022 using the sprite library assets and in the next video you will learn how to change each body part of your character from Binary Lunar and let's get started. So let's start by creating a new Unity 2D core project. I'm using currently Unity 2021.3.5. Feel free to use this version or any newer versions. So as I mentioned before, this tutorial is focusing on changing your character skin. So I'm assuming that you already have two versions of your character, which is creating in Adobe Photoshop. I already covered vid full videos how to draw your character and prepare it to be rigged in Unity in addition to the IK and the animation. I'll provide you a link for those detailed videos down in the description. But for now and not to waste time, I'll fast forward the rigging uh, and doing a quick prototyping animation just to go straight forward to our point of changing our character skin. Before we start, it's worth to mention that both versions of your character should have the same exact structure. And above that all, each body limb should have the same name exactly because it's even case sensitive. So for example, version 1 of our character, which is the white skin, have the body. And I did intentional mistake here and I made body with capital for the demon skin while I made small little body for the white skin to show you later how it might cause problem when we're changing skins. So let's start rigging our character. I'll fast forward here because it's already covered in the previous video I, as I mentioned.
so now our character is fully rigged and also I applied IK to facilitate the animation and created this simple quick prototype animation to show you that changing the skin will not affect the animation. So let's start by adding the sprite library script and of course to use that we will be needing to create sprite library asset. So right click in any empty space in the project files create 2D sprite library asset. Let's name it white skin library. Then let's start adding a list of categories and body limbs, but in our case, we will only have one body limb inside each category. So for example, let's start with the body category, then the body limb, which also called body. Then we drag the sprite for the body from our PSD file to the sprite location on the category. Did by adding new category, left arm, and we do the same, we add a body limb called left arm and we drag the specific sprite to that place and we proceed with all body limbs. After that, we go back to our character and we set the white skin library inside the sprite library script. Then we repeat the process for the demon skin. So we create a new sprite library and we keep adding the demon skin body limbs as we did for the white skin. After that, we select all the body parts, sprites, from the hierarchy and we add a sprite resolver to them. It will automatically detect the body limbs and their categories. So if you, for example, select the left arm, it will automatically select the left arm category and the label because we already set them in the library and their names matches the body limb as a game object. Now if we change the sprite library between the demon and the white skin, we successfully changing the skin but we lost the interaction with the animation and that's because we forgot to set the skeletal animation for the demon skin to be the same as the white skin. In addition to that, it's true we selected the white skin rig but it's not attached to the sprite of the demon skin. So we again redo the rigging by selecting auto geometry and repeating the steps of rigging to the character which is explained in our previous videos. Now if we go back to our scene and try to change the sprite library, we successfully changing every part in the skin except the body limb. And that's because as I told you before, I intentionally didn't change the body name from capital to small letter. This will cause the resolver not to find the appropriate body limp. So to solve that, we go back to Photoshop and change body from capital B to small b to match the other uh, set or skin of our character. So make sure to change all the body parts to match the first character. Also make sure that on the sprite resolver, it's also the same name. So it should be the same name inside the Photoshop file, inside the sprite library and inside the sprite resolver on the game object of the body limp. If you did everything successfully, when we press play and changing the sprite library, it will keep animating without any problems. And that's what we achieved right now. So the core concept has been applied, but it's not nice to change the sprite library from the inspector because we want the player to change it. So let's apply this, apply some codes that will change 
the sprite libraries and we add some UI to call some functions to change the uh, uh, skin. So let's create a full skin changer script. Delete the start and update functions because we will not be using them and we will create our custom functions. In addition to adding Unity Engine.U2D to have access to the sprite library assets. So let's create a public variable, a sprite library asset, uh, but since I forgot to add dot animation to have access to that, we need an array of sprite library assets because we will create multiple skins, but in our case, it's only two. Let's name it libraries. Then let's create a custom function, public void change skin, and we'll pass to it a sprite library asset, which is our skin. So to change the skin, we simply gain access to the sprite library by getting that component from our game object, then accessing the sprite library asset, and then assigning the skin to that. Now we need two functions, one to set the white skin and another one to set the demon skin. And simply those two functions will call the change skin function and pass to it the appropriate sprite library. In our case for the set white skin, it will be the skins item number zero, which is the first item in the list or the array. The same will be for the set demon skin, we just change the item number. In our case, the second item will be skins number one item. Save and go back to the scene. Now let's create a quick UI, which consists of two buttons to call those two functions that we just created. So create new UI image. It's a simple square and inside it, add another image to place an icon of the body or the skin color. And on the main image, we add a button. We duplicate that to create another instance of the button for the demon skin. Now let's go to the first button, the white skin button, drag to it our character, which is called now the white skin, and go to the full skin change and set white skin. Do the same for the demon skin and this time choose set demon skin script or function, sorry. Now the moment of truth hit play and click on the buttons and nothing will happen. That's because we forgot to add the sprite libraries to our code, to the array. So let's go back to our script and add in the inspector the two skins that we created. First one should be the white skin, the second one should be the demon skin. Now hit play and everything should be working as expected. The player now can change the skin of his player. So that's it for today's video. You learned how to change the skin of your character. In the next video, you will learn how to change each body part for your character. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed and found this video useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss the next videos. And of course, we are deeply thankful to all our supporters on Patreon for their generous support and keeping encouraging us to do more quality content. Till next video, see you soon.